Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella, and this is episode number 99, I think. Wow, <laughs> almost 100. Hey guys, welcome back. All right, Vlogmas is over. <laughs> Christmas is over, all that's over with, so that's good. I'm like, I'm in chill out mode now. <laughs> but, um, so this is gonna be the first episode after um, Christmas, but it's not gonna be the first of 2020. That'll be... Oh wow, that'll be number 100. That's so cool. Number 100 will be the first um, 2020 episode. That's cool. Anyways, I do have some finished objects to share and I have uh, two whips to show you. One I can actually show you and tell you what it is and one I can just show it to you because it's just the beginning stages, but it's a pattern that I'm writing and I'm pretty excited about it. But I will um, show you what I got so far. It looks really grainy, but it's because of the lighting. Um, Devin and Jesse are in the they living room playing a game. So I came in here in the bedroom. I tried to clean it up as good as I could in the background to um, record some videos. So you might see me in a few videos in this room in the same outfit because um, I'm just going to film some today. So I don't have to film so much, you know, while they're here. Devin is still off work until the 6th, I think. Whatever the Monday is in the new year. I think it's the 6th. But uh, like I said, I got some... Um, two finished objects I want to share with you guys and some whips and I got a little bit of happy mail that I got over Christmas but I just didn't film anymore I kind of didn't do a whole lot of the end of vlogmas because uh, I was too busy you know doing Christmas stuff <laughs> but um, I did put up one more video and then there's some other things I'm going to talk about towards the end of the video so hang out if you want to <laughs> and uh yeah so let's get into it so I do have two finished objects the first finished object I was working on I almost had it done last episode and it is my scarf it's called the ruffle scarf by melanie ham and it is a free uh video tutorial but she also has it written but the written does not match the video pattern so proceed with caution but here it is just kind of show you i used red heart super saver stripes cool stripes this is nearly three balls i used two whole balls and then almost all of the third one it's really long it's over, it's about six feet long maybe, maybe a little bit more than that, but I made it to wear like a cowl around my head, my neck, out my head. But it's super cute. I haven't even got to wear it yet outside the house because it got really warm here. Like today it's, it's in the late 50s and it's been in the late 50s, early 60s, all through Christmas and then now it's supposed to stay that way for about another week. But there it is. It's so pretty, I think. It hangs down. So cute. And then to match this with this with some of the leftover yarn, I made an ear warmer. And this is the Bubblehead Ear Warmer by Posh Pooch Designs, which I think that's Sarah. But I made it. <laughs> it's nice and toasty. And it got like an ombre effect because of I was you know shorter rows than this thing. So it's green and goes through the blues and into the darker blue. Really pretty and bobbly. <laughs> I like it a lot. I think it's super cute. And they go good together, I think. The colors. But, I mean, it's the same yarn, so of course they go good together. So here it is. And there's where I seamed it. It's not the greatest seam, but eh. It's going to be on the back of my head. I don't care. I like it a lot. It was really quick and easy. And the pattern was a two-row repeat. So it was easy to um, just sit down and do while watching TV or whatever. So those are my finished objects. Ugh. It's a little hot in here. <laughs> I love this shawl, uh, little uh, scarf. I can't wait to wear it when it's cold. It's so pretty. I love the colors. I love blues and greens. Those are like my some of my favorite color combos, anyways. And the ruffleness of it. it's just so pretty. I don't wear it so bad. I have it sitting by the front door with the ear warmer, just waiting for a cold day to wear it. <laughs> it just hasn't been cold enough for me to wear it yet. I want to. All right, so I do have. I still am working on the goat and the Tammy sweater. I just haven't actually worked on them. They're still in my active whip pile. I just didn't touch them through the whole week of Christmas. Uh, I was busy working on that and then I ended up starting this shawl that I'm about to show you. It was inspired by Z. I will link her channel below. I think we all know who Zelda is. But she made one, the same pattern using some of the same yarn. Um, she used parrot stripe and polo stripe, I think. I used a whole ball of parrot stripe and now I'm attaching and using the rest of this yarn, cool stripe. I had a, like that big of a ball <laughs> left. I'm going to add that to it and then I do have a polo stripe that I will add to it again if I need more length. But this pattern is called 
the one ball crochet shawl <laughs> one ball crochet shawl by marley bird it's a free video tutorial and also on her uh, website you can get it written i did get the written ah almost my hook um version of it because i prefer written patterns over video patterns i can follow them i just prefer because i like to watch videos while i'm crocheting so i can't do that if i'm watching a video but anyways here's my shawl so far it's so pretty oh. it's so pretty so it's it's red heart super saver parrot like the bird stripe all the way to this blue color right here this is where it's i had like four stitches maybe at the end i had to do in my leftover cool stripe so this is different shades of blue and some green in down into the ball so i'm going to do the rest of that and then if i need to add more length to it i will attach right here right here whoops ball band's gone everywhere uh red heart super saver polo polo stripe and it's the blues greens and purples so i think they will all go good together um just because they're all similar but um the actual pattern you're supposed to do it to, the point is 18 inches because it's supposed to be like a bandana cowl. But I want to keep making my bigger just like Z did. Z uh, made hers big enough to where you can wrap it around like this. So I don't have a whole lot more to go. I just need to add some more rows because I want the point to be down to like my stomach somewhere. And then the two ends to, you know, drape around. I, I want to do that like Z's. <laughs> if you go and watch her video, she shows, she has a few different clips of her like modeling it and, um, I want mine to be like hers. I don't know if I'm going to put tassels on it yet or not. I haven't gotten that far yet. <laughs> but it's a super simple pattern. It's just kind of like a fillet stitch or whatever. And it's all chains and double crochets back and forth. <laughs> you increase on the two ends. And it's just really cool. I do have a stitch marker that I, got, I bought from um, Randy. Uh, her shop is Ansier Creations. I'll try to remember to link it below too. Uh, she makes these little stitch markers and uh, you have to mark the point the center point so i just throw a piece of pizza on there <laughs> but yeah i think it's so pretty so far it's looking so good i can't wait to finish it i've been working on it like crazy and i'm using an eye hook for that i think it's eye hook oh my nose is itching this is a clover amore i was recently gifted a whole pack of amores and i've been loving them i was a little afraid i wasn't gonna love them because they're they're uh part the tips whatever those are called are um They'll kind of used to. I'm used to Susan Bates, so they're they're the pointy ones right here. And uh, so I was a little afraid I wasn't gonna like these, but I've been enjoying them a lot. I used them to make both of those. I think I used H hook though to make those or I and H. And then I'm using it to make this shawl, and it's been smooth sailing. It's been real comfortable in my hand. I really love them, <laughs> so I definitely suggest you trying them out if you um, if you've been wanting to try them out and haven't yet. Just buy one and try it out because it's they're really nice. I enjoy it a lot. I love that I got them gifted to me. Super appreciative. And she did tell me that she didn't get a good deal on them. Because <laughs> I felt bad at first. Because um, they're kind of expensive. Like if you buy them the whole set in like Joann's. But she got a good deal online. So I'm glad that she at least got a good deal. But I am super appreciative for them. Because they're awesome. But it's living in my cool project bag. Ooh, ooh. A lot of you guys have asked about this. And this is a limited edition pattern. It's currently not available. It is uh, sewed. Written by and sold from snappy tots which is heidi yates she's one of my favorite designers but it was she made this pattern for our birthday or something i can't remember it's some kind of a um special event and it's a limited edition it was only available at the time and then this was like two years ago and then earlier this year it was available for a limited time she does like put it back out so i will keep my eyes peeled and if i see her put it available again i will share it but it is a really cool pattern it's made so you can carry it on your arm and i use it all the time and all this black is pockets. There's two long ones and two short ones on either side. You know, long, short, long, short. <laughs> but I love this bag. And I made it with scraps at the time. So, yeah. But uh, that's my only super active whip. But, like, I'm working trying to finish that because I want to get it done. Let's put that back there. I am working on another whip right here. I can't tell you what this is. Oh, it's on my computer. I think I'll have to hook in the living room. So far, it's just a circle. <laughs> it's just a circle and the yarn that I'm using I got it on clearance at Hobby Lobby it's yarn B denim in color it is a mixture let's see here 50% acrylic 50% of cotton this is a green color I don't know if it has colors it's called green <laughs> it's green and white mixed together super fuzzy and soft I've just had this in my stash for a while and when I was thinking about this 
pattern that I'm wanting to design. Uh, I was like, well, that's good yarn. I got three balls of it. I think two should be enough. And I wanted to use brand new balls so I know how much yards, I, uh, approximately how much I used. So that when I get my pattern written up, I can put on there, you know, how much yardage it took for me to make it. So people would know how much yard yarn they need <laughs> to make it themselves. Ugh, so that makes any sense. So I didn't want to use scrap balls. I was going to use scrap balls to make it, but I can make more in scrap balls. I just needed new balls to um, design it with. But yeah, so that's, that's so far, that's it. <laughs> but that'll hopefully be getting done pretty soon. I was wanting to work on a lot last night, but we had to do a lot of cleaning and stuff like that, so I had to stop. But I'm in the increase phase right now. I'm still increasing the bottom. <laughs> but yeah, so that's all my active whips. I am still working on the goat and the Tammy sh um, sweater cardigan. Is it? Yeah, it's sweater. <laughs> I just haven't actually physically worked on it because of Christmas and all that. I've been really into this stuff. <laughs> But, um, my shawl, by the way, I've been calling it my Z shawl because it is inspired by her, the colors and stuff, and the way she made hers bigger. I want to make mine bigger, too, so this is my Z, sh Z shawl. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I do have some more mail that I got over Christmas that I wanted to show share just so that the people who sent it knew that I got it, and because it's fun to share all my cards and stuff, so I'm going to grab that real fast and show it to you guys. Okay, I got some cards. I tried to keep them together so that I wouldn't get the names and places wrong. Alright, this one is from Gail in New Hampshire. Super cute. With um, beanies and hats on them. And then this one is from Pam in New York. I like this one. This is so cute. It looks like a little play. Like they're putting on a little pageant or something. Super cute. This one is from Susan in Maine. This is really pretty. Cardinals. I love cardinals. Thank you so much. And her envelope, so I got my on it, matches the card. <laughs> and then this one is from Christina in Arizona. Ah, glaring. Super cute. This one's super duper cute too. <laughs> this one is from Shirley in California. Look into that dog. Oh, it's really blown out because of the, there you go. I don't know what kind of dog it is. A Pomeranian, maybe? I'm not good at dog names. This one is from Jennifer in Louisiana. <laughs> Give me a second. This one's really cool because first it's a really pretty card. And then on the back it's got a recipe. <laughs> the recipe is white chocolate bread pudding and hot buttered rum sauce. That sounds good. Thank you so much for that. And then I got this one from Cindy. This is Cindy from Cindy Hearts Crochet. She lives in Alabama. I want to meet her so bad. And we live fairly close to each other. Uh, she lives around Birmingham, I'm pretty sure. I think that's where she, you know, ish. <laughs> the middle of Alabama. And that's like a four-hour drive from here. So we might meet one of these days. But anyways, she sent me this one. Super cute. And then I got a postcard from Fiber Hearts. And it is Brian and Karen. And it's super cute. I've seen other people get this card. Oh, <laughs> this card too. Super cute. Look at him. He's cute. They're the ones that were, everybody was talking about it. Um, little like quote on the end of their message. It says, may your foes be many and your frogs be few. <laughs> I love that. But it's so cute. And then I got this one from Canada. It's from Montreal, Canada. And her name is Chantelle. And I, I want to show you the envelope too. Let me cover up her nose. The envelope's really cute. It's got dogs and designs on it, and the stamps have cats. And she put stickers on there. And then the card is a homemade one, and it says Happy Holidays. And look, the cat's got a yarn ball. And then on the inside it says, My warmest, warmest wishes for a perfect holidays. That's so cute. I love handmade cards. Oh, oh, I just showed her address. Oh. <laughs> but there it is. There's the stamps. They're cats, but they are like they're like mommy cats with the little babies. It's got really small community foundation. That's so cool. So thank you all for the cards. I did also get a package from Rachel, and this one is from the UK. I think it's from um, it's not the UK. It's from Ireland. There you go. I forgot the words. But this is a really pretty card. I love these scene cards. It's got whole little scenes. It says Merry Christmas from Bangor. So 
Oh, up here. I always like reading everything. It's so cool to get like out of country stuff. It's so cool. <laughs> like even different state stuff is really cool. So out of country stuff is really cool. But in the package, and I was expecting this somewhat. She commented, I didn't even say the name, Caroline. I don't know if you pronounce the name Caroline or Carolyn, because it really depends on where you're from, the way people say it. But she lives in Northern Ireland. Why am I having such a hard time saying that? <laughs> but I was expecting um, a piece of this package because she commented. So this is super special too. This is like crazy amount of special. She sent me a Christmas ornament because she knows how much I love Christmas. And her mom loved Christmas a whole lot too. And her mom has since passed. But she sent me one of her mom's Christmas ornaments, which is crazy, you know, to think that someone would do that. But here it is. It's so pretty. I don't want to break it. It's a Santa on like a little gold ball. So cute. I'm going to wrap it up and keep it very safe. <laughs> and it will go on the tree next year. We actually already took down the decorations. I normally wait, but uh, we were cleaning. We were doing cl deep cleaning every year when Devin's off for Christmas vacation. That's when we do our spring cleaning. We clean all the closets and stuff. So since we had the closets pulled out and was going through everything and donating a bunch of stuff, we went ahead and put up Christmas. And I did put up my little bit of Valentine's Day stuff that I have. And I've learned I have hardly nothing. I have got to hit up the Dollar Tree and start crocheting. <laughs> but I'm going to keep this. It's in a little organza bag. So I'm going to put a note in there so I know who it's from next year when I, you know, pull everything out. And I'm also going to probably wrap this up. It's um, some bubble wrap. I got a bunch of bubble wrap so that it stays nice and safe. But it will be treasured forever. Just so you know. <laughs> Set it right there. But she also sent a couple other things. She sent this. I think she was using it also um, as padding, but it's fabric. So she sent me some, I think these are half yards. Let me look. No, they're fat quarters. I don't know why I said half yards. They're fat quarters, but this is, um, this print. It's like a geisha with fans. And then that would be a good, like, liner to this one. I don't want to cut it, though. It's so pretty. I can't cut it. <laughs> Let me make sure I got it upside right. Okay. To this print. really pretty so those that's two fat quarters so that is a half a yard together for people who don't speak fabric a fat quarter is roughly a fourth of a yard and so two of them makes a half a yard <laughs> and then she sent two of these ones these are like mardi gras prints which is cool do they celebrate stuff like that over there i don't know <laughs> I know Mardi Gras, everybody thinks it started in Louisiana, but it really started in, oh uh, gosh. Oh gosh, what's it called? What's it called? Mobile. <laughs> Mobile, Alabama. I've always wanted to go to Mardi Gras too. Not the nighttime, like crazy boobs bouncing around kind of stuff, but like the daytime, the safe to take Jesse to stuff. Cause it'd be so cool to get all those necklaces and just see all the cool stuff. I've watched uh, vloggers and here's another one. I think it's the same. But there's two of those, so that's, that is half a yard of that. But, um, what was I saying? I want to go to Mardi Gras one of these days. Me and Devin actually thought about doing that two years ago. Whenever we went to Gulf Shores, we were thinking about going. Since we were already all the way down there, we thought we might as well just, you know, shoot over <laughs> to Louisiana. But, um, we didn't, obviously, or I would be telling you guys. But then she also sent a cool pack for Jesse. I haven't let him have it yet because he's had so much Christmas stuff. But this is going to be saved for a day when he needs distraction big time or if he's been really good and deserves a little present. But it's a really cool little activity kit. It's got a coloring book and some crayons and an activity pad. And there's a sheet of stickers. I don't want this back one. Oh, it's another coloring book. So that's cool. We might reserve this for a uh, car trip. This would be a good way to distract him in the car. I love these little things. Because these, these are so handy for parents with little kids. <laughs> I don't think people realize that sometimes. Um, but these are handy to just have in our backpack. We carry a backpack with an extra change of clothes just in case he spills something. And some toys and stuff. And stuff like this. Just whip it out when you're in a restaurant or something and they'll be good. <laughs> or he will. He, he He's distracted by stuff like this. I'm sure there's some kids who aren't. But thank you so much for that wonderful package. And I just, I love that ornament. I can't believe that you sent me something that was your mom's. And, um. He'll be treasured, though. <laughs> and if I raise Jesse the way I want to, he, he might be his one day and he can treasure it. Or his wife or 
whatever, <laughs> whatever he's, you know, however life goes, whatever. All right, I did buy some material yesterday when we went fabric shopping. I thought that license prints were half off. I read the ad wrong. It said up to half off, but really they were all 20, 25% off. <laughs> but I actually did get a Christmas print for really cheap. But I just got some bag um, prints I'm going to show you guys. that They're got upcoming bags in probably the middle of January. Second week, maybe. I don't know. I have to wait. I'm waiting for zippers. I'm supposed to get my zipper order on the 7th of January. So all these project bags will be done by then. And then that day I just have to make all the notion pouches and then right after that, I'll upload all these bags. But I got a bunch. So I got a yard of this. So I'll be making two um, bag sets of this really pretty mermaid print. It's got mermaids and dolphins and whales and fish and coral and shells. Really pretty, I thought this was so pretty. And I always just, I usually pick out prints that I like and then I do get prints that people suggest if they suggest them to me before I go shopping. <laughs> like right now, if anyone leaves a comment saying that they would like to buy this kind of bag, this kind of bag, whatever, I'll put that on my list for when I go shopping next time. And this print is so cool. I might have to keep one of these for myself. I got a yard of this to make, so this will be two um, bag sets. And it's just like, um, what are they called? Patterns, like old sewing patterns, the pictures off of them. Simplicity. This is one print they had. They had three different prints, and I wanted all of them, but they're kind of expensive because they were these ones I think were 40% off. So this was like $12.99, but it was 40% off of that. But um, if I catch them on sale, I'm definitely going to buy some more of this because I want something out of this. I think this would be a really cool skirt <laughs> to wear with like a solid color shirt. That'd be so cool. And then I got Snoopy because everybody always asks for Snoopy. I found Snoopy in Woodstock. It was really hard to find a Snoopy pattern. That wasn't themed. And then I got bees. These are specifically for someone. Um, Sandy wanted bee bags. So I got these and then if she wants them, she can get them. And then if there's any left that she doesn't want, like she just wants one set, there'll be another one. But I can always buy more bee, mat bee, <laughs> bee material if someone wants it. And then I got this one because I love, Corella DeVille is like my favorite Disney villain. And it's got her and it's also got, uh, What's she called? The Evil Queen? Or whatever. Off of Snow White. And then it's got like sayings on it. And this one says Bad Vibes Only. And Mad World. I Own You. Danger. Vile. Just, you know, villainy words. I thought that was sort of cool. And it's purple. Alright, I got three yards of this. So this is six bag sets worth. Maybe seven. Because usually when I get them in bigger pieces, I can cut them in different ways to get more bags. It's sheep. <laughs> this is actually a uh, fleece, but it's a different feeling fleece. That's why I decided to buy it. I'm going to try to make bags out of it and see how it works out. Because it doesn't feel like the fleece that if you pull it really hard, it comes apart. <laughs> it feels different. So I'm going to try and see what happens. This was on sale, so if this does work out, I may start making more fleece bags. Because um, it was actually pretty cheap. Because it was like 70% off, I think. And then I got a yard of this. Cute cats. Cats are always popular, so. They're so cute. This feels like more than a yard. But it's just because it's really quality material, so it's thick. And then I did get the rest of the bolt of this. It's a Christmas print, but it was it was 60% plus 20% off of that other price. It was 60% off, and then you take 20% off the 60% off price. And it is Snoopy Christmas, but I thought because it's a movie... Maybe people would still want it, even though it's not Christmas time. But if no one does want it, I can make them and have them for next uh, Christmas season. I think it was a yard and a half. So I might be able to get three bag sets out of that. I can't remember, but I bought the rest of the bolt. And when you buy the rest of the bolt at Joann's, you get another percentage off. So this was like $5 for almost two yards. And that's really cheap for licensed print. And then my favorite. <laughs> I got three yards of this too. So this would be six bag sets, maybe seven. It's llamas, and it's got, it's knitting stuff, but, you know, it still counts. It's got uh, little knitting projects and yarn, a yarn bowl with uh, yarn in it. The little, some of them are wearing, like, hats and blankets and scarves, and it's just so cute. <laughs> so cute. Mm. I tried to find the print for the inside, the little yarn balls, sometimes they have it, but it was sold out, I guess, because I couldn't find it anywhere, and I was looking. It's usually by the prints like this, but I couldn't find it, but 
I'm excited. So it's gonna be a bunch of bags in at least the second week of January. So if you're interested in any of these prints, keep your eyes peeled that time. But I will also announce on a video and also on the Facebook group. Uh, and maybe Instagram. I've been trying to be more active on Instagram. Uh, that. So that's everything I need to talk about today. Although I did want to bring up uh, a thing about vlogs. <laughs> I am actually going to make a second channel. Actually, I already did make it. I just haven't put anything on it yet. For um, no catchy name vlogs <laughs> and other life e related stuff. Like, um, sometimes I share recipes and stuff. And I'm going to start putting all that over there. And I'm going to keep this channel, my main channel, for the crochet part of no catchy name. That's why I did change. I don't know if you noticed, but I changed it. I changed it from no catchy name to no catchy name crochet. So this is going to be where all the crochet episodes are and where all the crochet chats, any of the shop me, shop with me's or any of the sewing videos, anything that's crafty will be on this channel. And then the other channel will be for the life part. <laughs> so I'm going to separate the crochet and life just because, um, I've been watching my analytics and stuff and obviously because it's a crochet channel those videos do better over here so i'm just going to separate them all the vlogs that are already on this channel are going to stay here i'm not going to move them because that's just too much work <laughs> so all the new vlogs from now on 2020 and on are going to be on the new um channel which will always be in the description and when i put new videos up on that i will mention it on this channel and also mention it on the facebook groups and all that stuff um so if you're interested in that i will link it below I, don't, I might have a video on there later. Cause I did film some clips today of us shopping and stuff. But I don't know if I filmed enough to make a video out of. But um, you can go ahead and go and subscribe to it if you want. And uh, get notifications when I upload vlogs and stuff. I know a lot of you guys do enjoy the vlogs. But some of you guys don't. <laughs> so um, that's why I want to separate it. Just to keep it, you know, more organized, I guess, for 2020. I got some goals that I want to uh, achieve in 2020. As, you know, everybody does. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I'm actually going to film a goal video right after I finish this, so keep your eyes peeled for that. <laughs> but I think that's everything. So I do want to thank everybody for uh, subscribing and for watching and liking and commenting and sharing and all that stuff. And um, I hope you guys can continue doing that in 2020. I hope the channel continues to grow. That'd be awesome. But yeah, so thank you all for everything for the last two years. Um, three years? 2017, 2018, 2019. Yeah, three years. I've been doing it for, um, I guess, June will be my third year because I started in June 2017 so to 2018 2019 yeah so June 2020 will be my third year so that I'll be going into my fourth year in a few months that's crazy <laughs> but uh so thank you all for coming along with me this whole time and I hope you continue to come along with me <laughs> but yeah if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you think someone else will like it share it and subscribe if you're not and I'll see you next video bye guys mm -hmm.